Hey fam, so I have quite a haul for you. The thing is, I don't know if I am going to have everything included in this video because it may be way too long and I am trying, you know, not to make my videos too long. Some of you may like long videos, but I know a lot of people who prefer shorter videos, so I'm trying to be within the the middle somewhere <laughs> so today I have a few items that I'm going to show you that I picked up from ASOS and some H&M and I also have that orange dress that I picked up from uh, Moto Operandi by a significant other you guys saw the white one in the previous video and I exchanged it even though some people were saying glow just keep the white and also get the orange I had to think about how much usage I would get out of that dress first of all and the fact that I had similar items to that very same white dress and then I had all these damn white clothing and I was trying to get away from all that white I love white don't get me wrong but I felt like I just was picking up too many white clothing so I decided to return that um, and there might be a few other things in this video as well that I may not remember <laughs> to mention in advance. But anyhow, the title of the video would list the items that I plan to show you or you may see in the description. You can fast forward if you want to because sometimes, you know, if a video is too long and I'm not getting to where you want to get, you know, it's fine. As long as you watch, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share the video I'll be happy all right thank you guys all right um, so let's get into the video let me show you guys what I have purchased recently or received because I do have a few items that, that were gifted um, yeah so I will show you guys what those are and I'm going to start with what I'm currently wearing I'm currently wearing these beautiful earrings hoop earrings now I've seen very similar earrings to these before um, so I've been following this brand called I Spy Fashion. Um, we support each other and honestly I thought that she was just a blogger or an influencer. Then I realized that she actually has a boutique and some of her items are so beautiful. And I decided to go check it out and I picked up these earrings which I love. I love to support women. And I especially love to support black women. I am one of those women that truly am a big like supporter. I, I, I believe strongly in supporting women, especially black women, black businesses in general. And I love to see black people win, period. I think that when one black person wins, we all are winning there's like I, I feel like i have no jealousy or malice or hate or envy towards another black person when i see them doing good it makes me feel so good and it also gives me the the drive to push and do more and do better because i think we can all truly win and I'm gonna digress just a little bit but i noticed that in the influencing world that there's a lot of like catty jealous type of behavior it may not be blatant it might be very very subtle and one of the things I've noticed is that some people don't like to see when you win or when you are doing better than them or look or appear to be doing better than them and it's so sad I mean I've I've already witnessed <laughs> a little bit of it myself I've tried not to feed on those negatives and continue to do the things that are positive because I believe that overall the positives will always win anyway so I checked out the boutique so I picked up these earrings none of them are 100% gold they are all gold plated so I have these earrings and I picked up this necklace and another pair of earrings which I will show you she had everything individually placed in these little pouches and this is the other pair of earrings that I picked up I will leave a link to that um, the brands um, web website I thought that her items were very reasonably priced as well so I was very excited I love this detailing in this necklace a lot um, in fact that's the main reason why I went onto the site when I saw this necklace um, I think she may have worn it in one of her 
post on Instagram. So I went ahead, clicked on her shopping link and ended up purchasing three items. Also, I'm currently wearing this bikini top that I'm wearing as a, as a, um, a tank top with these pair of jeans that I picked up from H&M. Now H&M have some beautiful, beautiful jeans. I mean, they are different. This jeans is by Lee. And I'm like, when did H&M start selling Lee jeans? That's the first thing that came to my mind. So this particular one, I just love that it has the seams down the front that are stitched. Oh, that's what drove me to this jeans. And I like that it has that whole, um, what do you call the curve look? So the legs are kind of wide around the thigh area and it continues to taper all the way down and gets narrow as it hits the eye. So I decided to go ahead and pair it with this beautiful, what I would call like a lime yellow. And guys, listen, if you aren't aware, let me tell you, some of the trends that are coming or that are very much in for the spring and the summer, brights. Brights and pastels are going to be very much on trend. So um, you will notice that I have a little trend going on today where almost everything I have is very bright or very vibrant or very much a pastel color. In addition to that blazer, I decided to pair it with these beautiful gold, like lame type um, platform heels, also from ASOS. I decided to pair it with this beautiful ribbed tank top. This tank top was purchased from a black owned business. Again, I love supporting my people. I saw them on Instagram, you know, I just, they just run up on my feed and I clicked in and I just started going through what they had on their site and ended up purchasing this and another pink one, which I will be showing you right after this. I love the fact that it has this very low back. Ugh, I love, 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 like I told you guys before, I just love an open back. The material is very, very thick but very soft. It's very high quality. You know what? Sometimes when people ship things to you, they should actually send you a receipt or something that shows the brand. They did not do that. That's my only complaint about this brand right now. They just sent it in a regular, you know, bag, a regular package, like envelope. And it's only because I knew where I picked it up from that I was able to figure it out. Um, because I recognize the items, but they didn't have anything to show who they were. Um, and because it's a black owned brand, I want to definitely get that information for you. So I love this yellow top. I like the asymmetrical um, way they made the straps. So good, it's so good. And again, very, very soft material. It's like cotton lycra. I love it. And I picked this up in a medium. I could have picked this up in a small, but they didn't have any more smalls. So I went for the medium. I naturally will pick up a small top because my back and my waist is fairly small. So usually if I pick up something that's in a medium, it kind of like swims around me a little bit. So I prefer to have my things a little bit more snug if they're meant to be fitting snug. So next up from H&M is another jeans. So this one, the waist is too big and I think that I'll probably return it and exchange it for a size two because I truly love the fit of this. I don't have another jeans that fits like this at all. I like that wider leg and I don't think any of my jeans actually fit with a wider leg. Most of them are tapered. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted this one. Also by Lee. So Lee and H&M have obviously partnered up. I love that this has the whole carpenter style. Do you guys remember the carpenter style jeans that guys used to wear? It was more male type jeans and not for female. Hey, well they have upgraded this and they've made them for women. I love the wide legs all the way down. This one is a little bit too big for me. So the, I usually wear a size four and this is a size four. And I realized that 
I probably am better off when I try jeans on because most of the times when I purchase jeans, it's really hard to find the one that fits you because of the way it's styled and every style will fit you differently. The one I'm currently wearing with the seams on the front is also a size four and it fits perfectly. So next is another blazer from ASOS. Again, pastel or bright are in this season and blazers are very much on trend. This blazer in particular I love because I know that this can be transitioned. In fact, I think all of the blazers I picked up can be tra transitioned from spring even to summer because they're very, very light. They're not lined heavily. They're just lined very, very, very soft. Um, I guess like a nylon polyester material. This one is extra like, like so soft. So I decided to go ahead and pair this with little orange tank top that I've owned like forever. Some things you just never get rid of. <sighs> I'm wearing it with this pink pair of slacks that I picked up from Moda again by the very same brand, Significant Other. I am in love with that brand. They are not like super expensive. They are more on the affordable side. Um, they're not the cheapest either, but my point is they're a lot more affordable than many other brands and their clothing are made so well. I mean, it's quality material. This is a beautiful linen pants, which is perfect for the summer. Listen, I can't wait. This this summer, I, this summer, I think I'm going to be wearing a lot of linen, a lot of linen slacks, I think are going to be in, which is the trend that's on right now. Everything is kind of like oversized. So put away all those fitted jackets, blazers, or whatever that you've had before. Put away those fitted jeans. Those are so 2020. Come and just grab yourself as many wide leg or full fitting bottoms as possible because that's what we'll be wearing the entire spring and summer. All right, again, from ASOS, <laughs> another blazer. Now this one is in like a lime green. It's not too, too bright, but it still has like this neon effect. This jacket is so good. It's a linen material. I picked it up very big. This is actually a size US 8. Oh, this, I am so excited to wear all these blazers all freaking spring and summer because they're light like on the evening even if it's hot during the day in the evenings it tends to cool down as we all know i'm just gonna be walking with an extra um blazer to put on and a blazer always elevates your look i mean i'm very much like that sporty type person but i have been trying to like elevate my style and i think that gravitating towards blazers more blazers or more slacks is one of the ways to elevate your style and that's what i am going for this coming spring and summer i wore this with a white dress that white dress was from misguided i may have featured it in a previous video um when i did like a misguided haul of like since like late in the winter or early in the winter anyway sometime last year um i never got a chance to wear that dress anywhere and i'm still hoping that i can wear it maybe before the winter is over before the spring is over. <laughs> i don't know when i'm gonna get to wear that dress but that dress is a baddie so maybe maybe i'll get to wear it at the end of the year the next next winter but i have not given up on it Maybe I'll just wear it for the heck of it at home. <laughs> so guys, last but certainly not least, actually, no, I have one more thing I'm going to show you in this video. So again, you guys know the orange dress that matches the white one that I featured in the previous video. So like I said, it's like a burnt orange. It's almost looking like it has a hint of like caramel or something to it so i love this dress i am very happy that i exchanged the white for this one 
I'm excited. I am so excited to wear this on my vacation. Um, did I tell you guys I booked my trip? Yes, I am heading to Mexico like everyone else. <laughs> I wanted to go to St. Lucia, but I heard that the um, the rules had changed a bit. So I am hoping that I will get to go there before the year is out though. It's definitely on my list of places to go. So um, one last item that I will show you guys. I have a few more things in that I needed to um, film, but I feel like it would make this video too long. I got some dresses from Dress Barn. Yes, guys, these dresses are so good. I slept on Dress Barn. I mean, I used to walk past Dress Barn and go in and pick up a few things here and there, but I never realized that they had such sexy pieces. When they reached out to me to work with them, I was like, hmm, all right, let me check your site. Let me see what you have. And then I will let you know if this is something that fits within my aesthetics. Guys, the dresses are so gorgeous. Look out for that video because I will be filming. I may continue filming. I will not be uploading them in this video because I feel like it's gonna have the video way too long. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you my other item that I also picked up recently. Guys. I was looking for some sunglasses, right? And I see so many different influencers um, showing various brands of sunglasses. I knew what I wanted, I just, you know when you have a vision in your head, it's caught, I don't know if you guys have that, but I have this thing in my head where I know what I want. I can actually envision it, even if not fully. Lord knows, when I saw these sunglasses, I was like, yo, this is what I was dreaming of and I just couldn't like create it. But it's like, yes, Tom Ford guys. Tom Ford, he came through. I wanted something different. I wanted something that would be a classic, but I also wanted something that would stand out. And this, these sunglasses, they say all of that and some. Of course, they came in the little Tom Ford box and has all of the instructions and information about the glasses and their sunglass case. I have another pair of Tom Fords that I had for many, many years. I might try to pull them out so you guys can see what they look like. I've had them for a long time. Very similar case it came in. That one came in a white case. This And the case looks a lot like this. So I think that this is the way or the style of how he makes his cases. Um, without any further ado. Guys, I was so excited when I got this. Listen, I was running back and forth in my apartment. Keeping the most noise. I was like, no way. No way. Alright guys. Check out these bags. Check these out. All right, so there's something very unique about these glasses. So if you turn it around, you will notice that it has these two, and I hopefully you can see it. So it has these two red things that are like plastic. Now these can stay right here or they can come out at the side see that so I'm gonna first put them on so you can see that part that is on the inside that rests against your nose bridge oh I need to take that tag off all right ignore that tag for now listen <laughs> yo nobody can tell me that things don't make you happy because trust me I could not stop smiling after I put this on. I was overjoyed that I loved them so much. When I saw these, and I got these from Farfetch, when I looked on Farfetch, for, I was looking for specific sunglasses. I knew what in my head, I envisioned what I wanted, I just hadn't seen it, like actually able to see it and feel it until I saw these. The thing is, the other Tom Fords that I have also have like a red, um, hue to them on the lens so maybe it's a color that he actually likes so I'm moving the plastic over to the side do you see how that vintage looks 
I already have an idea for how I want to shoot these glasses. And I can't wait! I cannot wait. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's on this side or in the center. These are just some freaking awesome. Yo. These are showstoppers, statement makers, yet classic. How can something be so different but yet classic, right? Because it has that aviator frame style, but in a more like freaking dramatic way. <laughs> You want to start something? You want to start something? <laughs> That's what these are saying. <laughs> I love them so much. Oh my God. All right, guys. So I think this is where I'm going to end the video, like I said before. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm hoping I haven't forgotten any of the beautiful things that I wanted to show you guys. And if I have, I will always show them in a future video. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for listening to my rambles and my complaints and whatnot. Thanks for sharing in my excitement. Thanks for sharing in my journey. I really appreciate you guys. I know that the channel is still growing and I'm grateful to all of you who stop by, who leave your comments, who give me thumbs ups. You know, I, I'm truly, truly thankful to all of you. I want to continue to bring things to you that you want to see and if you have any ideas of anything that you would like to see from me if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section because i am happy to share with you you guys are my fam all right so let me know if uh, what you feel about these items i showed you today which of the things are your fav are there any things that you're interested in purchasing if you are, I will leave links that are affiliate links. So if you do purchase any of the items, yes, I will get some commission, um, which is at no extra cost to you. Whether you buy them through my link or through the actual site, you're going to pay the same amount of money. But when you purchase it from my link, you are allowing me to get a little commission back. It's not a lot, but at least it shows that I'm what I'm doing is not in vain. And you know, it takes hard work to even get those links, put them in there for you. So just showing your appreciation by shopping the links means everything to me. All right, so I think that's it. Since you're now at the end of this video, please do, do me a favor and go ahead, hit the thumbs up. <laughs> Let me know that you loved and enjoyed this video. And of course, please don't forget to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones. I'm really trying to get my watch time and my numbers increased so I can start to make some money off of YouTube because right now I'm just doing this for fun, basically, is what's happening. And I love doing it. So don't get me wrong. Money is never the end game, but it doesn't hurt. All right, it doesn't hurt to get some extra. So I appreciate all of you so, so much. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in the another half of this video. Love you guys. See you soon.